This week sees Star Wars Celebration return after three years, and in this video I will be sharing with you what gaming news you should expect to come out of it. From the sequel to Jedi Fallen Order, to a Star Wars game that we'll be releasing soon, there is going to be some good news coming this week. And when that news does actually come out, I will be reporting it right here, so make sure you do subscribe for that. Starting from Thursday the 26th through to Sunday the 29th, Star Wars Celebration will reveal new footage and details about upcoming Star Wars media, such as the shows and games. The almost full schedule has been released, giving us a good idea of what to expect in terms of games, but there is also a secret thing too. I absolutely loved going to Celebration last time, it was an incredible week. I think it might be the best holiday I've ever had. Sadly, I was not able to go this time due to a couple of things popping up, but if you are going, have a great time, and if it's your first time going, you are going to love it. For all of us that won't be going, we will be watching from home though, and we also get to see the new Kenobi show later this week, which has been many years in the waiting for a lot of us. Let's start talking about the games though, and the biggest gaming reveal set to happen at Star Wars Celebration is the sequel to Jedi Fallen Order. It has been leaked to be revealed during this event, probably on the Friday, according to Jeff Grubb, an extremely reliable games insider. He told us the name of the game last week, and it's called Star Wars Jedi Survivor. This was also backed up by the most reliable Star Wars leaker, Bespin Bulletin. Both Jeff and Bespin also leaked that the game would be releasing in early 2023 and release only on the PC, Xbox Series X and S, and PlayStation 5. Whilst there is no panel for the game, much like Jedi Fallen Order back in 2019, it's very likely that EA will be revealing the Survivor name officially, plus the time frame in which it will release, so 2023, plus the fact that it will be next-gen only, plus PC. I really hope we do get an in-game teaser trailer and not just a logo reveal, that would be disappointing. I really hope that we do get an in-engine teaser and not just a logo reveal. EA Play Live is not happening in June, so EA won't be showing off gameplay like they did back with Fallen Order last time. A trailer for the game, even if it is out early next year, is what we need. We can't go three, four, five or six months without seeing anything for this game. Jeff Grubb also stated that the game will release in February or March, meaning it is out in less than 12 months. Obviously, that's assuming there will be no further delays. This actually makes a lot of sense, though, because the game will release around the same time as The Mandalorian Season 3, or more likely, the Ahsoka Disney Plus show. Typically, EA releases their Star Wars games alongside a big piece of Star Wars media. Battlefront came out a month before The Force Awakens. Battlefront 2, a month before The Last Jedi. Fallen Order dropped alongside The Mandalorian Season 1. And a month before The Rise of Skywalker 2. Whereas Squadrons came out a month before The Mandalorian Season 2. It was actually confirmed last week that The Mandalorian Season 3 would be at the end of this year or at the start of next year, and then Ahsoka will follow it. This means Jedi Survivor will have a nice show to go with it in early 2023. Next up, we have a LEGO Star Wars panel on the Friday 2. StarWars.com say that this panel will let us dive into the expansive galaxy within the newly released LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, plus discover brand new sets to keep us busy and learn even more ways you can get your LEGO Star Wars fix this summer. Whilst some have speculated this might be where DLC for the game will be announced, I don't think it will be. The panel is an advert for upcoming LEGO sets and the newly released game, so it's to promote it to the more casual Star Wars gamers out there that might not have picked up this game yet, or do like the game, but want to know a little bit more about how the game was made. It will probably just be some of the development team talking about it, and that's it. I'd love DLC announced for this game, but I just can't see it happening. I hope I'm wrong, but we're just being realistic here, given everything that's going on at TT Games. I think this is where they will also announce the next Disney Plus Lego Star Wars film. We had Terrifying Tales in Halloween last year, and then the holiday special the year before that. It was leaked last year that a third film was in development, so it's entirely possible that they will announce that right here. Moving on to the next game that will probably get news at Celebration, and coincidentally will also be the next Star Wars game to release. 
Star Wars Hunters has a panel on Saturday titled, Welcome to the Greatest Show in the Galaxy. StarWars.com say that we will join Zynga and the Lucasfilm teams to learn about how this spectacle will come to life. You'll hear developer insights and behind-the-scenes glimpses of upcoming content. This game was due to release last year but was delayed to early 2022. It is now pushing that window and I think it's not going to be out till the summer or, or maybe even later this year. On a positive note though, the soft launch is expanding to more countries as recent as the other week in Australia and New Zealand, so it is growing and getting closer to that global release. Perhaps they will reveal a release date for the game at this panel. Whilst it is not certain, I'd say there's a better chance it's happening at this event than any others late this year. The final panel in terms of games is happening on Friday as well, and it's from ILMX Lab. It's where they will be discussing their previous game, Tales from the Galaxy's Edge. But here's hoping they will announce their next game. It has been 18 months since Tales of the Galaxy's Edge Part 1 did come out, so it would make sense for them to announce their next project this year. And what better way to do it but at Celebration. Right now, more Star Wars games have been confirmed to be in development than any time in the last 10 years. Whilst we know so many of them, they are still 2, to 3, 4, 5 years away. The next game coming up is the KOTOR remake, and it is rumoured to release at the end of next year. As much as we'd all like to see it at Celebration, it's too early. Just last week, one of the higher-ups said that we'll hear more about KOTOR in the next several months, so it's not going to be at Celebration. How excited are you for this week's events? Let me know down in the comment section below. From Kenobi to Celebration, it's going to be an absolutely incredible month for Star Wars fans, and make sure you do drop a like to help support the channel. And if you missed any of the previous videos on screen, click on the playlist, and I shall see you in my next Star Wars gaming video. Goodbye.